Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Essica Map mod um, on your remote PC private community custom server. Um, in this example I'm going to be using Nitrado but this will apply for any server provider that, that you want to use. So first things first, you want to open up Steam and you want to subscribe to the Essica mod and that will download the map and all the extra loveliness. Um, I'm going to kind of assume that you've already set up a private server, a community server, so you know what you're doing in terms of getting one running and installing mods and that sort of stuff. So you're also going to then going to want to fire up um, your FTP program so we can then access our, our remote server. And what we need to go into is the folder that includes the new downloaded Essica mod, which is there. It's inside the... Um, daisy workshop folder now if you're not sure where that is and you're not sure how to find it if you fire up the daisy launcher go to the mods section let me untick those um and there we've got essica see how it's ticked i found it and ticked it and if you click on this little arrow here on the right hand side then click on these little three dots it says open folder in Windows Explorer. So if you click that, and it gives you a little warning, say don't mess around with anything, but say fair enough, say I understand. That will then open up this. And what you can do is in your in the kind of address bar at the top, if you just left click like that, it then gives you the proper address and then you can right click copy. Go back to your FTP program. Left click in there, right click paste, press enter, and you, it takes you straight to the folder. So there, as we go down, we can see there's the Essica folder. And in fact, if we click on that, we can look down in this uh, window here to see what's on it. So next up, we want to upload the files to our server. So here's my, I've already connected to my site. So as you can see, Daisy standalone. Um, what I'm actually going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be converting, well, not, not really converting, I'm going to be adding Essica to my Dear Isle server and then we're going to change it so that it plays Essica rather than Dear Isle because the beauty with Daisy remote servers and community servers is that you can flick backwards and forwards between maps. You can only play one at a time but you can flick backwards and forwards and it saves all, all the programs as well. So as you can see, so I've clicked on Daisy standalone, I'm going to click on Essica on the uh, left hand side, right click, upload. And that will then start uploading. Ching, 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 ching. There's quite a lot of stuff here. You can imagine there's there's the missions. There's um, I don't know if there's different assets on Essica, um, but there's a lot of information. Now remember, Essica at the time that I'm recording this video is a work in progress. Um, there's only a certain chunk of the map you can access through. It is uh, I think it's an Armor Three map. It's absolutely massive, but the guys are working on it to 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 bring everything to it, and it seems to be being very well. Uh, received by the daisy community i've had a little go on it to be honest i'm busy with some other projects at the moment that i mean i haven't really got the time to spend a lot of time on it so as you can see here we go essica this has appeared here underneath dear isle ftp program is uh, zooming along copying everything up apologies for my i guess this is quite a fast internet connection not quite sure i'm actually doing this on my shadow cloud gaming pc because i only have a crappy old laptop the current, right there we go so it's uploaded everything now we're not we're not finished yet though we've still got a long way to go so what we want to do is click on this plus next to essica and we're going to concentrate on the keys next so if we scroll down on the right hand side and and look in the keys um folder on the server what we need to do is click on keys there and we need to transfer this key the essica key up into our remote server key so we've got that open so all we can do we can just right click upload and there we go and that, that key has now transferred so now our, uh, our our daisy game or anybody's daisy game that is um that is subscribed to the essica, uh, essica mod it can kind of almost shake hands with our remote server and go yep yeah, we've both got the same key let's fire up essica now the next thing we need to do is the missions so this is all the types that xml um events that xml config xml all that sort of stuff um, that we upload next. So what we'll do, as you can see, it's here, this folder here, and if we open it up, um, you see you've got empty.essica, and in fact, if we open that up, you've got db, env, storage, all the normal stuff you'd accept, uh, expect. So there's empty.essica. So we need to go to the missions folder on our um, remote server, and you, as you can see at the moment, 
it's got Chernerus, Enoch, which is Livonia, and it's got Deer Isle. So we want to get Essica up, empty dot Essica up into it. So click on MP missions on the right, um, left click on empty Essica on the left, right click, uh, upload. And what we should see in a second is empty dot Essica starts to appear. Du -du 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 -du. So all the types, all the events, all those th lovely things that make the zombies appear. There we go. So now we've physically got the files we need onto our server. So the next step is now to go into the web interface on Nitrado and start changing the settings so that when the server starts, it'll start with, with Essica on it. So here we go. So let's, um, let's go to Nitrado. So where's my one? So that's that's the uh, my, my dear Isle um, server. So you click on the web interface button. That would take you to here. And then we want to go into the expert settings. So you click on that, and that would take you to the expert settings, which is here. Now you need to stop the server to be able to work on the uh, the, the settings. So if we scroll down a bit, so at the moment my one is called one D for one dear Isle, but let's change that to um, 1e for uh, for Essica password is joking don't worry I'll be changing that pretty quick and then if we scroll down here what we're looking for is the class missions uh, bit here so it says class missions class does a template equals empty dot dear Isle now we want that to be empty dot Essica don't we so what we want need to do now is we need to make sure we get the spelling right so I'd always recommend um, you can open up the folder where the where the mod is and you can go into it go into the missions and if you just left click you can then right click the, the name which means that you can go over that and carefully do that okay so then what we can do is we can now save that so let's just scroll down empty.essica so that's good go back to the top we've got to remember the password the password is joking isn't it okay so the next thing we need to work on is we need to make sure that the server starts uh, with the essica mod running as well and that's in the general settings so if you scroll down through the general settings see at the moment we've got dear isle but we don't want dear isle we want essica to start so what we want to do now is again we'll so we get it so we spell it right I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to gently click on there and we're going to copy Essica out and then we're going to paste that over the top there. We're going to save that. The settings have been saved successfully. Now we're going to start the server. Now this might, bit might take a couple of minutes to do and remember I'm recording and doing all this live. So um, hopefully this is this is <laughs> this is going to work in a minute, and we're going to load in as a fresh spawn in Essica. Now, once you've done all this, obviously you can then um, create your uh, your folders if you want to activate Zombri Admin or CF or Community Online Tools. Uh, I don't know if anybody's put expansion on on Essica yet, so that they can fly their helicopters around. Um, but I, I definitely recommend installing at least uh, CF and Zombri admin tools because um, it's a very very reliable admin tools uh, add-on and uh, seems to work very well. Okay, so the server has now restarted. So now if we go into our Daisy launcher, go into servers, we might have to search for this. So one end is gone. So let's search community. Let's search. So we want to search for one e don't we so if we can find it fingers crossed it will have restarted and we'll be able to find it this might take a couple of minutes it takes a while for the service to propagate obviously across the the system so let's just go back and make sure that this has happened let's refresh this we could search for endurance there's one n 
there we go one e so there it is so we can now join that we've got the essica mod on uh joking was the password now we just wait for daisy to fire up lock that cursor we can go full screen it's always good when that little bit pops up Here we go, that's the Essica splash screen, loading in, the dreaded red bar, this is always the bit that you worry about the red bar when that comes across the bottom, because this is where it will kick you if you haven't updated something properly. And you'll get that. Uh, though I must admit, the new warnings that do explain why you've been kicked are a lot more uh, helpful. Now, sometimes, remember, when you are installing different mods, you have to um, uh, restart the server twice. You know, say you're installing Zombri or CF. One of the big mistakes people make is they don't re allow the server to restart, so it can generate the folders and the files it needs to before uh, before it fires up fires up again. Bingo! So there we go. Now this might be a little bit chunky and we've spawned in at night but we are on Essica and that my friends is how easy it is to install Essica on your um, community private remote server uh, for PC and in this case we looked at um, Nitrado didn't we um, but you could do that for uh, for whatever one you want okay so hopefully you found that video useful if you did hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe put your questions and comments down below and I will, of course, see you again soon.